Hi, I'm Mindy Clove. I've been a demonstrator for, well, this next March will be my 10 year anniversary. I have three kids. No. <laughs> I have three kids. One's up at the U of U, got one doing a surface mission, and my baby is a senior in high school. I'm going to be just demonstrating a couple things for you today. The first one is this little fun fold. It's like holds a little bag of M&Ms, um, or it holds gum, but it stands up. I did these for my customers and my downline when we did it a little event. So here's what you're going to start with. Unfortunately, you need 12 by 12 paper. So that's the only bad thing. So you're going to start with a 5 and 3 quarter by 12 inch paper, and you're going to score it at 11 and a half, 10 and a half, 9 and a half. These are all inches. 6 inches, 2 and a half inches, and 2 inches on your long side. And then on the short side, and then you're going to score at half inch, one inch, four and three quarters, and five and a quarter. Then you're going to cut out the sides, this right, these right here, so you've got this. Okay? You're going to put score tape up here, and you're going to flip it over, and you're going to put score tape here. A few additional things that you're going to need for decoration are you're going to need a three and a half by three and a quarter piece of card stock, a three and a half by one and three quarter piece of card stock. DSP three and a quarter by one and a half, and three and a quarter by three. And then any other embellishments. I said I've got ribbon and some dies and you know, so whatever you want to decorate with. So those are the things you're gonna need. Let me show you really quickly how to put it together. Okay, so this is my piece right here. You're going to take it like this and you're gonna fold these two up like this. And then this piece gets folded this way. And then, this is going to get folded, whoops, wrong way. <laughs> okay, you're going to fold it up accordion style so it looks kind of like this. Then, you're going to have your score tape, oh my goodness, I'm warm, okay. You're going to take and you're going to peel, yes, okay, sorry, I was trying to decide, I was trying to remember if I needed to decorate it first, but here's why I'm not going to put the inner panel in first, and I'll tell you why in a second. Oh my goodness, I'm like so nervous, I'm getting like super hot, I don't know why, oh my good heavens, okay, sorry, okay, so now you're going to take this and you're going to fold this up, and you're going to match the sides to make this little pocket, okay. So that's kind of your start of your little box. And then you've got this little mountain fold here, and you're gonna peel off your score tape, or your tearing tape, and you're gonna line this up with the bottom of the box, like this. So there you have your base of your box. And the reason why I like to fold this in before I decorate it is because I like to, you see these little pieces right here, I don't like to have those show. Um, so we're going to just, I already have my panels ready. This is going to go in like this, mash that down, and I have this other little panel, and this is going to go on the front like this. I already have it all decorated. The magic of television. And then, if it's a cute little package of M&Ms, or you can even put gum in it. And that is that. So, whoops, the gum is a little heavy, obviously. There you go, okay. And then, thank you. Oh my good heavens. Okay, and then my last project is gonna be a fun fold card. Um, you just have a simple four and a quarter by five and a half base. This is a little pocket that pulls, you pull this out and this is where you can write your little greetings and whatnot. And then this little pocket will hold a gift card. So I'm going to show you how to make this card. So you're going to need a few pieces of paper. You're going to need a piece of DSP that is 11 and 3 quarters by 5 and a quarter. You're going to score at 1 and 3 quarters four and three quarters, and seven and three quarters. Your card base, like I said, is four and a quarter by five and a half. Inside writing piece is three and a half by four and a quarter. This is the little piece 
this little strip right here is this little piece that will go on your writing piece and it's four and a quarter by one. And then your gift card holder is three and an eighth by four and a quarter. You'll need about 10 inches of ribbon, maybe not quite that much. The trio punch, that's how we get this little hole punch right here. And then tear and tape. So we're gonna put one together really quick. So you've got your piece of DSP that's scored already. You're gonna need to put tear and tape here and here, and then this, you can either just use regular adhesive or tear and tape, it's up to you, because we're just gonna fold this down and adhere it. But then on the back, you're gonna need tear and tape. So it's basically on the same side. You're gonna need, on this panel, this, the second middle panel, you're gonna need tear and tape on that. And that's gonna show you how to do your, that will do your pockets. So first of all, we're gonna peel this, and we're just gonna adhere that down. <coughs> Then we're gonna peel our tear and tape here. And you just do it at the top and the bottom because that's how it's gonna make a pocket. Because you're gonna to wanna to be able to slide your cardstock in. So that's made this first little pocket right here. And then we're gonna peel this tear and tape that's on the back. Excuse me. And then that creates this little pocket here. Then you're gonna take that and you're gonna put some adhesive on the back and you're gonna put it here on your, just your quarter inch piece of cardstock. And then I've already got my little gift card piece with some ribbon. I tied it in a bow, so I think I used a little bit more than 10 inches there. But that just slides into that side pocket there. And then this is your little, your little side piece, that, like I said, just so you don't have just a plain piece of cardstock. I like to put a little something And you'll glue that down. And then you can stamp something there if you want. Um, I just didn't, because it's not, it's not very big. You don't have a lot of room to write anyways. And you stick that there, and then you're gonna have, you can decorate the front any way you want. Just make sure that you don't, like this is gonna lay out on the front, and I don't have any dimensionals on this side because I did not want, I wanna be able to pull this out, this piece out. So you're gonna put this here in the center, and there's your finished card with your two pockets. And that's it. Thank you.